The best way to use your funds right now, if you could do it, is to be like a vulture lender. Just be a total bag of shit, second mortgage, and plan to steal people's properties. This okay. is well, the time for that, I TK. don't think so. You think said I... you have a ton of buyers. No? I think there's a lot of buyers out there. Yeah, I'm working with some buyers too, but I'm saying... Yeah, they're just not like trigger happy at the moment. I don't know. I mostly work with sellers on the listing side. So the buyers that I'm working with right now are all active. List right? to last, baby. There's a lot of people who are out there, though. Obviously, in 2022, if there's 30 people bidding on a house and one guy got it, those 29 people are still out there. But right. a lot of those people that I was dealing with them, talking to them and, and keeping in touch and all that kind of stuff like that, they got better use for their, their funds. You know, like a GIC? Getting a GIC makes like it makes way more sense. It makes a way property. more sense, no, which is there's crazy. No property out there unless you have a strategy. Yeah. Unless you're going to come to me and say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a piece of development land and upzone it. I'm going to buy a property and I'm going to renovate it to be able to refinance it. I'm going to, you know, buy into a, a piece of land that's, I'm, I'm going to sever. You know it. what the best game I'm in town is right now? Multiplex or whatever it is. The best way to use your funds right now, if you could do it, is to be uh, a, a very, like a vulture lender right now. To just be a total bag of shit, second mortgage, and plan to steal people's properties. This okay. is well, the time for that, I TK. don't think so. So, and I'll tell you my lawyer story now because it kind of yeah, applies tell to it because so it's a commercial property. Go. It's a, it's a, it's an office property. And um, the, uh, the person, so tell the long story short is they they went to the commercial brokerages and they said, can you sell office property right now? And these guys were all like, you can't sell office property. Do you know what's going on in Toronto with the office market? Nobody's yeah. buying offices right now. Are you crazy? Yeah. It's going to take us a year to get that sold. Literally two people said that and wouldn't even like come out to meet with them. Right. So they call us and they said, well, I hear you guys are the number one commercial team in Ontario. And uh, <laughs> and you got a great commercial department. I said, "Well, yeah, we are." Like 2023, we're, we're yes, I am top commercial team, and I'm the head of the commercial <laughs> department. Happy to help you. And so, anyways, I said, "Let's meet. Let's talk. I guarantee you, we, we can come up with a plan." So, of course, we came up with a plan. We got it sold in two weeks. Got our asking price. They were happy. They said, "Wow, I couldn't believe it was so smooth." It was supposed to close yesterday, it didn't close. <clears throat> the lender, the the buyer who bought it, force majeure, no? Nah. The buyer, the buyer who bought it, the doctor, and uh, it's a medical unit. And uh, they're turning it into a medical unit. And um, the le their lender had some sort of medical emergency. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that means like they're about to die or if they're about to, you know, maybe they just had a toenail infection. I don't know. But ah. bottom line is I heard after I talked to you that the money's getting transferred today and that everything should be fine according to the, the lender's son. But that would be an opportunistic type of lender, you know, coming into a private loan situation. I got a doctor. Oh, yeah. I trust them, all that kind of stuff. But anything can happen in those private lending deals. I wouldn't oh my uh, God. advise people to be involved with private lending. Look at the look at the case. The guy just got you know smoked, popped in his head there. Popped you know, in his head. He had a bunch of people who said private lending is We're the right way to go. Boy. You know? Yeah, and then I got too. You got a lot of uh, if you're if you're a corporation, you're an active corporation, and you're doing private lending. It's considered passive income. You get taxed fifty percent. Like my private lending is not very lucrative. No. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. I like that. That was good.